right, so here we are in Dying Light. Um, and I'm just gonna show you my agility grind. Uh, you know, my little thing that I like to do to grind agility. A lot of other people have their own thing. A lot of them ha involve just climbing the same spot over and over again. Only, you know, obviously not this spot. There, there are places where it's better than others. Um, but I like one that's a little more active, so I found this one. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it entails real quick right now during the day. Um, so first off, you're going to need to come to this safe house here. Uh, it's There's a tower, so north and west of the tower, just east of these two warehouses with the train tracks and whatnot. And how it works is we're just going to circle this. I'm going to circle the safe house. So I'm going to turn left, turn down here, go around here, turn left. Basically, it's like NASCAR, except you're the front car and everyone behind you is just zombies trying to kill you uh, because this wouldn't be worth it if it weren't for the pursuit bonus. Uh, what I'm talking about here is that the whole time we're, we're doing this, we're gonna have a bunch of zombies chasing after us uh, because you get a whole huge bonus from that. We're, I'll go ahead and show you that now. Let's get it started. Uh, so, of course, we do it during night, get double agility points. Um, second thing we need to make sure is we are doing it with an active pursuit. So, let me go find a pursuit. Find a baddie, get him to notice me, and then start doing the route. Follow this route, go in this circle all night long. All night long, baby. Uh, how this works is whenever you get into a pursuit and uh, you successfully evade it, you get a uh, whole ton of bonus agility points. Uh, the amount of agility points you get is dependent on two things, intensity and uh, length. So the longer the chase, the more points you're going to get. So we want to make sure that this lasts as long as possible. That's why we do it from dusk until dawn. Make it all one chase the whole time. Uh, that's why if you ever lose them, like I just did, you want to go find them. Make sure that they continue chasing you. Like so. But be careful when you're doing that because you don't need to go and die. But keep the chase going at all costs. That's uh, kind of one important thing. Um, because if we make this chase last from like I said, dusk till dawn, you're going to get the maximum bonus um, at the end of the night. Uh, so that's one important thing. Keep it going. Uh, the, the nice thing about this chase is that you are, I mean, you may not know it, but you are a better runner than, than, than those zombies. Even the, even the real ugly, nasty ones, that guy. Um, and throughout this whole chase, you are going to lose them. They are, they're not going to be able to keep up with you, no way. So occasionally you just need to stop and wait for them. Nice thing about that is it gives you a chance to stop, catch your breath, make sure you've got, uh, you know, you can keep sprinting when you need to sprint. Um, and at the same time, you know, if you ever get low on health for whatever reason, you can stop and uh, pull out a med kit. Let's see, another great thing about this run is you always, 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 always got the safe house right here. It's just a grapple away right there if you ever need uh, to get out because you're just right there about to die. Um, so, safe house. Pursuit. Okay, so the other thing that the uh, uh, agility bonus depends on, other than the length, is, like I said, intensity. Um, I'm not entirely sure how intensity is measured. It just kind of goes up the longer you've been on the chase. Um, but it's it's displayed in the upper right-hand corner. 
next to the mini map we've got those uh, right now I've got three diamonds um, it goes up to four a total of four and um, the more intense the chase the more points you're gonna get at the end so uh, you don't really need to worry about that watch that make sure it's going up uh, because it's gonna go up while you're doing that chase it's it's gonna get up there Uh, so, a couple more things. Ooh, that's, that was not optimal. Glad I was able to get around. Um, it's the, this chase is generally not very dangerous um, if you do it right. Occasionally, you get to a spot where, like I just was, perhaps a, a volatile is still in the same place where you were the last time ago, so essentially you end up overlapping them, uh, which, you know, if you cross paths with them, it's never good. Uh, so, you know, just be vigilant. You can kill a zombie or two if you ever want to. Right here is the only place where this path is actually on the ground, so this is where you're ever going to run into just normal zombies. Um, which can be dangerous if they if they group up there and there are too many. Um, so just keep an eye out for them. You can vault over them if you ever need to. Um, another thing that I'll show you next time around. Just make sure you're aware of. Just a second. Is there's one spot in this where you need to make sure you do it right, otherwise you will be uh, hating it. It's coming up here in just a second. So right here, right after you climb up here, you need to make sure that you drop here. Don't jump from this roof, just drop. Because if you jump, you will break through that wood. And down there, the only way out is up. So if you go down there and 10 zombies fall on your head, you're gonna be in trouble. So, and plus now that wood is gone for the rest of the night, uh, which is gonna make the rest of the night tougher. Uh, so just make sure you only drop there, you don't jump. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so there are a few places, uh, three places in particular that I found, there are probably more, but at three at least that I know of, where you can get an extra bonus. Let me see if I can do it. Right there. So, uh, if you notice right there, I just got a hun uh, 100 agility points as compared to all these 20s, 24s, 40. Here's another place. Watch closely. Boom. There it is. 100 points for that one move. That how that happens is um, you fall, you fall a great enough distance and then catch a ledge instead of actually landing on the ledge, uh, you get extra points for it. So, um, again, uh, not here, it's there. I'll show you in just a sec. Um, right here is one of the places where you can get this. You just want to run off of this ledge. Don't jump off of it, just run. There, I got it. Right after you drop off the ledge, press and hold the power. Uh, <laughs> press and hold the uh, jump button, and then you'll catch the ledge. Same thing right there. I just did it again. Mm, chase me. Chase me, damn you. Um, here's another place you can get it. Sometimes it's pretty tough. You have to time this jump perfectly. No, no, it's too early there. Um, if you try and time that right, then you can get the extra 100 points there as well. Okay. Drop here. Drop across. So wait for something to catch up a little bit. Okay. Drop off. Ah, I didn't get it that time. That, this place is a a little bit harder to get. Um, this spot, you get it every single time. Every single time. 
you get it right there, 100 points. This place, it's really tough to get. I'm gonna heal real quick. So another great thing about this is that this method of grinding, as opposed to other methods, is that um, you, yes, you get a, a whole bunch of agility points, but at the same time, you're going to end up getting a bunch of survivor points. Um, and I've heard people say that you can't actually grind survivor points in this game, which is uh, not true. Uh, there are, there's this way that I'm doing, there are other ways as well, but this way is a great way of grinding survival points. Um, how it works is that if you survive the night and evade a pursuit, so survive the night while evading a pursuit, you get a bunch of survival points for that. Uh, like 10,000 plus, uh, depending on how you do it. So, the, um, so this is a great way for grinding agility and survival points. So, uh, it's fantastic. You'll see it in very soon. Let's see if I can get this once. Ah, ah, not quite. Nah, I jumped a little too early there. Oh man, they're all the way over there. Catch up already. So just a few more rounds and the night will be over. Um, and, jeez, oh I almost lost him. Come on, hurry up. There they come. Rock, catch. Jump, catch, no. And it's just about day. So there's about to be a uh, nice bonus of agility points as well as a nice big bonus of survival points. Just about there. There it goes. So, Pursuit Evaded. And, uh, let's see, 2183 agility points. That's what, that's pretty much what you get for a whole night. A whole night of running one Pursuit is gonna get you about, about that much. Uh, 20 to 2200. Uh, and you saw there, after that was, I got uh, 11,000 plus, 11 thousand survivor points so right there one night gets you a whole bunch of survival points a whole bunch of agility points right back to the safe house to uh do it again if you want <laughs> if i could get down there here we go and then wait until night do it again i just got almost a whole level let's see in agility i got almost a whole level from 17 to 18 and then yeah maybe almost two-thirds of 18 so um obviously at the lower levels if you're at like level 10 or something and then that's gonna get you a level and a half and a night um so you know it's uh it's a real good spot i like it it's been working well for me. Maybe check it out. Again, it's uh, right up here. Check it out. Have fun. <laughs>